If you don't want to run a validator node but still gain exposure to staking rewards, then delegation is an easy and flexible way to do just that. As a one token holder, you can delegate your holdings to existing validators, and it's all done via the Harmony Staking Explorer, staking.harmony.one. If the tokens are delegated to an elected validator, a portion of the block reward earned by the validator will be credited to you, the delegator. The earned block rewards are stored in a separate reward balance of the delegator, which can be immediately withdrawn to the delegator's account. The block rewards can also be staked again to compound earnings, so it's a powerful long-term strategy for building the value of your tokens. If a delegator decides to stop delegating to a validator, he or she can choose to undelegate their tokens from that validator. And after undelegation is initiated, the tokens are locked for seven epochs before being credited to the delegator's account balance. But note that the unlocking of the undelegated tokens only happens at the end of every epoch. And how long is an epoch? That's one and a half days. So that makes 10 and a half days in total, or a week and a half. Now it may seem long, but the system is designed to ensure undelegation is given due consideration, and we don't see mass movement of tokens from validator to validator, which would destabilize the network. Locked tokens awaiting undelegation are still slashable if the validator double signs. When undelegating from an unelected validator, the token will be unlocked seven epochs after the validator was last elected. For example, if you're undelegating from a validator who was last elected three epochs ago, your token will be locked for four epochs after the undelegation starts. This leads to a convenient result that if you undelegate from a validator who has never previously been elected, your tokens will be returned in the current epoch. To learn more about delegating, do check out the other films in this series, and remember, delegate, collect, repeat.